Hey guys, I'm Priyanka Chopra and I'm going to be taking you through my whole life. Now, I've been in the beauty business for a while. I've been in beauty pageants, I've been a recording artist, I have done about 50 movies. I'm going to share a few of my tricks of the trade with you guys. In this series, I'll be opening up my little black book to share with you all the people and practices that help me live a beautiful life. You'll be meeting the people that are closest to me and actually, you'll see a lot about my life. Subscribe to the Bazaar channel so you don't miss an episode. Fashion is a huge part of my life and also a part of my job. I literally get photographed every day. Um, I change five times a day from red carpet looks to street style to television appearances. I have a team of stylists around the world that work with me. So I want to take you behind the scenes with these experts weighing in on my every look. I have a long press day coming up tomorrow, so we are heading to my stylist Mimi Cottrell's studio. I just love the creative process of working with her. She gets my vibe, she gets the fact that I want a point of view in every outfit, and we put together some really fun, cool, chic looks. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my stylist, Mimi Cottrell, woo! We need four looks tomorrow. I need four very different, really amazing press looks tomorrow, and that's my life. I'm always like changing out of clothes, changing into clothes, and being really chic at it. Yeah. It's nuts. That's why I need amazing people like her. Love it. Yeah, it'll be perfect for like a digital interview. Yeah. Huh? Do you like it? Do you approve, Maisie? And when her tail wags, it means yes. Yes. I love this Isabel Morant. I feel like it'll just it's beautiful. be beautiful. Do you think I have a pattern? I just want to know. What do you, what, do you think I have a pattern? <laughs> I mean, we just started working together. So I want to know. We've done like such amazing yeah. looks. Do I have a, do I have like a kind of outfit that I, I like? Yeah, I, I think so. I think you're like into what? The, I think you're into the dresses. I think mm. you like a sh good shoe. I do like a good shoe more. <laughs> and I like not leaning into yeah what the dress says. My teens were a little bit more tight pants, ponytails, hoops, puffy jackets. Yeah, I was that girl in the 90s. And then came the 2000s and came me becoming an actress and I started wearing everything. Jewelry, clothes, hair, makeup. And then I realized that I looked like a Christmas tree going forward. So then I backtracked a little and then I became too simple. And then I had to come into the, and find my middle ground a little bit. And that took a couple of years and you know what, it's fine. I think I finally found my feet in my 30s as a woman and as a fashionista. So a couple of things that I really like right now are smaller sunglasses, which Mimi actually put me onto. The second thing which I'm really enjoying is I am really loving like a monochrome moment. Like I love like sets and matching them and like being a little bit more turned out. You know, using funky accessories to break the monochrome up. Ta-da! Ooh, it's perfect. It doesn't even need tailoring. Isn't it? Like I yeah. feel like it, That's like crazy. nowhere. Yeah. Like, this is good for what tomorrow? I think, I think this would be for yeah, daytime, definitely. Like a your, talk show. Yeah, for your second look, I think yeah. it would be good. I love the shoes with it. I know, they're fun. They kind of just give it a little bit of an edge rather than being too ladylike. I think also the color like is really nice on my tone. It's so pretty. It's, little, it's like really it's, clean. And it's fresh. like a little lady. Yeah. <laughs> Over like understanding myself through my career, I think I've realized that you know, I have to really be true to me and what I want to say, whatever the trends might be. What am I feeling at that moment? Before a carpet, I always have one or two options just in case because I'm moody. But when I'm doing something custom, it has to be something that works for me, truly to me. Fashion is such a personal thing to each one of us. I mean, we can get inspired by the people that we see all around, but it has to be personal to you. And that's when I started my love affair with fashion. The other woman who's hugely responsible for a lot of my iconic red carpet moments is Christina Ehrlich. She has such a sense of classical beauty. She has such a sense of what makes a moment, and I love that about her. This year, again, we're working on my Met Gala look, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. 
This is our second Met together and our second time with Ralph Lauren, so it's our encore. Mm -hmm. And um, so talk to me about it. So when you have a canvas like Priyanka, <laughs> the sky's are the limit and I think our biggest goal is always outdoing ourselves from the time before, which is a challenge because we always say this moment is epic. This will be able to undo and reveal and come back at a certain moment. This whole cape will come off and then you will have underneath it something that Ralph is so well known for, which is this beautiful column dress. My favorite collaborations with you was the Met Gala last year, mm -hmm. for sure, mm -hmm. because it was such a departure for me. Like, I, I remember being so stressed out the night before being like, I'm wearing a trench coat to the Met Gala. She was so <laughs> worried that she was gonna disappear and not be seen when meanwhile the train went from here like when I had all the, the train, way down to Chinatown. When I wore the train, then I was like, oh, there's no way, no one's gonna realize that I'm there. It's not just a trench coat. Also the Emmys, the, Emmys the Jason, Jason Wu. That was one of my favorite all-time looks in my career. We've done some good we're, stuff we're having, together. We're having a good time. Okay, so for tonight, we should do this awesome skirt. We haven't done like a black corset. moment for a while. Exactly, so I thought it would just be kind of like simple and Ooh, it'll really have like a really nice and... waist thing going. Yeah. I love the textures. Oh my God, this is it, right? It's amazing, I love it. It's, How do the it's... earrings look? <laughs> my <face. laughs> They're so good. They're fun. dragons, guys! What do you think? Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. It's Ready? Good. Yes. Love it. Ready, set, action. Go. Ready. Where am I going? Oh, I never know where to go. I think what people don't realize is that, like literally today, I didn't remember what I wore this morning. Like, I didn't remember what interview I did or how the day started. People always ask me, how do you look fresh all the time when you have a crazy life like that? You just have to love what you do, you know, you guys. Like, some, of, very few of us are lucky enough to do what we love doing, and I really think I was blessed with that. So try and find what you love to do, or try and love what you are doing. That's what I do. Even with this craziness, I'm just like, I love it, I love it, I love it. Remind myself that. 